able to have your arms in the correct position for the bottom is because it's the same feet. So look. And here. Oh, shot this here. Typically, they'll go here. Okay. And now look, it's the same thing. We have the same grip. I just don't need to grip it here. Okay. I just need a pinch right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hips out this way here. Lift the hip heel one and go right in there. Okay. Notice I led with my elbow one and I do this. Okay. Because my goal is to force him to orientate himself and realize that because typically if they point their head to the right they're right there i have a, a neck crank right there but whenever they feed this feel this on their face it's like they push it yeah because now it feels like oh i'm comfortable i don't have pressure but now it's all locked in here and now i want to call one two three four and I'm in the same position here. Notice my left hand under the armpit, my right hand. Think about a right hand and right elbow. If this is separate, it's not as good. This right here is good. Now I pull with the right and push my left shoulder. And if I need to, I extend the frame. But this right here has to be connected. Okay? Because if you're here, you can push his head of your arm off like that, and then you lose it. But if you're here and everything is tight, okay, even if this elbow is down and, and you can't get under that armpit, I'll go here and I'll pinch right here. Because now I'm just gonna keep moving down. And moving him up, move myself down. Oh, look, you see that? He planted, and now I got under that armpit. The only reason why I can get under that armpit is because I'm so underneath him, okay? that my arm is longer. If he's more on my stomach, right here, I can't get up as high, which is okay as long as you anchor your hand, okay? But this is also why I do this, and lift him up, and keep my hips up, so it's harder for him to climb back up on top of me here. And usually they'll post their hand, okay? The only other thing that he may do, okay, is he may want to pull his right hand out, okay? And I keep it pinched here, okay? Because if this happens, then you can roll them this way here. And you notice it's the same situation from the top, okay? So now, what I want you guys to do is this. Now, you're gonna roll from the top to bottom. So remember, this. What you need, I want to spin with my shoulder here and pull right here so I lift him up. Okay, even if, like Spencer, he starts blocking me right here, okay, you can drop this here, go right through that hole right here, and then go whoosh, right here. Okay, now from here, let's say he kept that and he hugged my head, he's like, Okay, I'm gonna defend against the cutter. All I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna now go to the bottom. I'm gonna turn my hip to my left, be getting on my right side, and I'm gonna pull him up on top of me. Right here. And now everything's tight. Right. Because now you're in the original Gregorian trap position here. So if I were here, and he goes completely to his knees. Not really right. I'm just keeping my legs straight so you guys can see. Because what I want is, I want this. Right there. And as I'm pulling this in this direction, that way, this is going that way. And it's like this. So you're going to get it and you're going to roll to your back. All right, let's try it. One, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> So once you lock it from the top, you roll to the bottom by rolling to your right side and